Okay, so, so I'm starting this vlog off here. Molly. He's mad because I turned the TV down. Y'all got this bump growing on my chin. It's like it never fails. I always get a big old bump on my chin. This is just... Oh, my gosh. Anyways... Hey YouTube, my name is Sakara. If you don't know me, um, if you're new here, come join the squad, the team, the whatever we are. I don't know what we are. We gotta come up with something. Um, and if you're returning, hey, how you doing? So y'all, I'm starting this vlog off here. I might have to just talk in my car because I can't freaking talk right now. Um, but this is gonna be a maintenance vlog. I'm getting my nails done today. I'm doing my own hair today. And I'm going to record that. And I might get my lashes done. I don't know. And also, I'm doing a couple other little things just to get myself together. And I'm going to make sure I record that, too. I'm going to talk to y'all in the car. Okay, y'all. So, I'm in the car now. Like I said, I'm I'm going to get my nails done first or whatever. And then I need to go to the hair store when I get out of there. So, I can start doing my hair. So, I can get my hair done. Well, do my own hair. I might get my friend to help me uh, part my hair for this. I'm doing soft locks. But if she's busy, then I'm just going to do it myself. Y'all, this 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 hurts so bad. Like, I don't understand. And then, of course, I'm going back home this weekend for, um, you know, whatever. And, of course, I get this bump on my freaking face. Like, of course. And it's, like, really ruining this camera shot. Okay? This is embarrassing. But yeah, y'all, I'm on my way to get my nails done. Uh, me and my nail tech, we talk like the whole damn time. So I don't know if I'm... But y'all will see the finishing product. Also, my pinky is severely, like... So, I'm going to beg her. And <laughs> I'm going to see if she can do something about it. Like, because the original plan was for us to... um was for us to just do nine of my fingers and not do the pinky but i feel like she could put like a tip on it or something so i'm a beggar i'd be like look i'm a smooth talker you know i'd be like you know i just feel like you could do the same thing with this you know we'll see if y'all see me come back on this camera with nine fingers and fingernails then you, you know i didn't i didn't butter her over so yeah yo uh, i'm gonna talk to y'all uh when i leave the nail shop I got my nails done or whatever. Yo, last night, hold on, let me search up. You can't see me. Last night, I I don't know if I drank some bad orange juice or something, but it happened right after I drank this orange juice. So last night, I drank a thing of orange juice and like I just felt weird like I don't know like I thought it was because I was sleepy but like I had like a vertigo attack and it's like when your eyes move really fast and it make everything like it makes you dizzy I get those sometimes and I was really sleepy so I just thought you know I was getting it because I was really sleepy but then all of a sudden like I felt like I had to throw up like I felt super freaking nauseous and so I went to the bathroom I couldn't throw up or nothing but like my stomach was just hurting so finally I had fell asleep but and then I woke up still just I don't know but I just felt dizzy and nauseous yesterday after I drank this freaking chocolate milk so I don't know I don't know what was up with that but like now my stomach just been queasy and so it's like freaking 2.34 and I haven't ate yet so now I'm feeling fatigued because I'm freaking hungry but my stomach hurt so, and then I need to do my hair today. So, I don't know. And then I'm 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 aggravated because I started feeling bad last night, so I went to sleep, and I never. <coughs> Ooh Lord, I never um parted and braided my hair for me to install the soft locks. I wanted to do that last night, so that way all I would have to do is install them today. And also before I got my nails done. So now I got my nails done, and I gotta hope I could braid my freaking hair. With my nails done it's too much y'all and then, like i said it's 2 34 i don't know what i'm gonna start on my head i need to eat something and like or lay down until my stomach feel better something because i can't 
I can't do my hair and I feel like this. So, I'm about to go eat some cereal. I need, I'm just about to eat something that I can just put together like, I don't have no energy to cook no food and I didn't want to go buy food from somewhere and it be greasy and all that shit and it just makes me feel worse. Cause you know when you feel queasy like, Greasy foods just make you feel just disgusting. So the thought of eating like some chicken right now is just making me like want to freaking hurl. So I'm about to go eat some cereal. And we're going to call it a day for right now. Yeah, I got y'all in front of my little um, stand. And the camera is actually staying still. So I think I can start vlogging like this. But yeah, I'm about to pull up at home. This maintenance vlog is gonna probably be like multiple days or whatever, cause yeah, yeah. Or I might just call this a getting my life together, cause I need to get my car together too. And I did like a car maintenance vlog before, but I might incorporate that. I don't know. We'll see y'all. I like it's hot. I be like extremely sleepy. I was falling asleep while getting my nails done. I don't know what's going on, y'all. I'm just tired as fuck. As hell, I mean. And all that. So. I'm gonna go inside and eat some cereal. And I might take a nap. I want to at least start my hair by five. Because it's going to take me like 30 minutes to part my head and stuff. And then I don't know how long it's going to take me to install. All I'm doing, I got the already extended locks. So literally all I have to do is pull it through and just wrap the hair at the top for each one. So pull it through, wrap the hair at the top, pull it through, wrap the hair at the top. But I still don't know how long it's going to take me. Because I want to do about 50, 60 parts. Yeah. I want to make sure I do enough so that way it look really full. And it don't look like, you know. So at first I was going to do butterfly locks. But that's hard y'all i did that before and it's hard <laughs> gotta really wrap it and you gotta make sure you're wrapping it the right way it was a lot so with this i was like i only need to wrap the top and so that's good y'all my eyes look so cross-eyed because i'm like really sleepy okay y'all i'm about to go inside and i'm about to eat some cereal and i'm probably about to take a nap all right y'all my hair is all parted. I'm taking an ice cream yeah, break, y'all. This pimple. Okay. I'm taking an ice cream break, y'all. What film is this? I probably got gel on my face. I don't know. But yeah, I'm taking an ice cream break. And then I had to go back to the hustle. Because I thought I had wrapping hair here, but I don't. So I had to go back to the hustle so I can get that. Marley, can you bite the ice cream? So, um, yeah. I'll hop back on the camera when I start, um, putting them in. But I don't know how many parts I did. I think I did a good bit. Hopefully, because I wanted it to look full, but I feel like I should have made them smaller. Because, like, look at this. These two are kind of big. I thought I could split these two rows and make them smaller, but too late now. So yeah, y'all. I'll catch up in a second. Good morning, y'all. I'm at the hair store. So I had to, you know, pause my hair since I didn't get the wrapping hair. So I'm at the um I'm at the beauty store right now. I'm about to get my hair so I can wrap this. It is currently 9.52. Hopefully I can get this done because I got work at 4.30. So I should be good. I already attached all the extensions. I just need to wrap it. Literally just wrap the hair. So hopefully it won't take me too, too long. And I only have like 30 in my head. Y'all, I didn't make it too thick. So we shall see. But I'm about to go up in here real quick. Yeah. Ooh, almost hit somebody's car. Hey, y'all. Good morning. Say good morning, baby. You're not paying attention to me today. So, y'all. Ooh, 
Lord. It is currently 9.19. I have a 10 o'clock lash appointment. And I'm about to tell y'all about it. Because I'm aggravated. So I'm, I'm dropping my son off at daycare. I had a... um. I had lashes to do. But that's just a whole other story. Anyways. So I'm dropping my son off at daycare right now. And y'all I'm hot. Like I'm so mad that I have to go to this girl I'm going to. Y'all don't understand. Like... So basically, I went to this girl. The last time I got my lashes done, I went to this girl. Um, I've been busy as hell, y'all. Like, literally, the last time I got my lashes done was in August or whatever. And um, so it's been a little minute. But, uh, you know, whatever. Anyways, that's irrelevant to the story. So, y'all, I made an appointment with her last minute because she had an opening. I leave out of town tomorrow. So I made the appointment with her. That can't be happening. Oh, I gotta take my card. Enterprise. I just hydroplated it on some water. And I wasn't even going fast. I need my tires checked out. That's another thing I'm doing today, too. Anyways, to get story. So, y'all, um. So, I, uh. I made an appointment with her. What was this? Monday? Monday. Yeah, Monday I made an appointment with her. And I was like, you know, I'm gonna just get my lash done. Because I at first I wasn't gonna get my lash done. Hope y'all can see me with the sunlight. So at first I wasn't going to get my lash done, but I was like, I'm going to just get my lash done. So I made an appointment with her, and the last time I made an appointment with her, this number texted me, and it was like a green text message. And it just, it gave me the address, and I texted the number back, and it sent green. I didn't know if it went through or not. Some people's scheduling sites, you know, it won't send like an iMessage, it'll send like an Android. So I was like, okay, cool, whatever. Then her personal number wound up texting me to confirm, and I confirmed with her personal number too, whatever, and we called that a day. So this time around, I booked my appointment again. I used the same information I used last time, everything. So I never got no confirmation text or anything. And so I was like, what the heck? So, um, so that's, uh, so I, I DM'd her this morning. I meant to DM her yesterday, but I was just so busy. I DM'd her this morning and I was like, hey, I need your address. And so I was like, I was like, dang, no, you know what? I think I got her number. So I texted her too. And I said, like, hey, I needed your address. I have a 10 o'clock today. So she texted me back. I almost canceled your appointment, period. Not the word period. She put a, a period. She said, like, I almost canceled your appointment. Next time, make sure you put the right number or your appointment will be canceled. And then she sent me her address. Baby, there's better ways to say things. Like, I don't know. Like, there's okay. When you're running your own business, sometimes you do have to be you have to be a certain amount of forceful for people to really respect you. Because people will disrespect you. I know it. I, I know this personally. I mean, I do lashes. But there's better ways to say things. And there was a better way for her to say that. Like, I was just like, that was rude as hell. Like, why you had to say it like that? And so now I'm heated. I'm like, I use the same number I used last time I booked. And she was like, um, she was like, she sent me a screenshot of her things sending to me and that they were like, they, they sent to me, but they sent green or whatever. And I look at the top and it's my number. And I'm like, I was like, well, I don't know why it's sending to you like that. I was like, I don't know why it's not sending to me because that's my number. Like you sitting here trying to go ham on me saying, um, You sitting here trying to go ham on me saying use the right number and I did use the right number. How is it my fault? Your booking system is not sending messages to me. And then I said my number out. I was like, I was like, well, I don't know why, because that's my number, and then I said my number. And so she didn't say anything. But it's just like, and then the way her um the way her, she worked is your deposit is half of the um half of the service. So I already didn't pay for half of this freaking service. So yeah, I'm gonna be there because it's not refundable. But just know I will never be there again. Cause I already was sketchy from the first time I went. Because like every I ain't gonna lie to you. Every time I have clients, sometimes I'm not in a talkative mood. But I'ma always say good morning. I'ma ask them what they're getting today, you know, how they want it, da-da-da. Consultation, especially if you're my first timer. I went to her, I was like you know, I had said good morning to her or whatever. She didn't say nothing back. 
And I'm like, that's already a red flag for me because I'm like, I'm big on that. We don't have to talk. Just say good morning to me and that's it. Like literally, that's all I care about. Didn't say good morning back. And so that was a red flag for me right there. And then I think she just asked what length I wanted. And I was like, you know, 18. She knew I was getting hybrid or whatever. She was like, what length do you want? I was like, 18. And then she told me the massage bed. She had a massage bed, which I don't recommend, y'all. I don't know why I was doing the massage thing. It was cool or whatever. But when I told her to turn it off, it gave me like a vertigo attack. And if you know what vertigo attack is, it's like when your eyes move back and forth really, really fast. I think I talked about this in the beginning of this video. But yeah, it gave me that. So I was like, I'm not going to do that again. Because... It, it's very hard to keep your eyes still if they're moving really fast while they're closed. So I felt, you know, I felt bad for her because I'm like, I know my eyes are moving, but I'm not doing it on purpose. Anyways, so yeah, y'all, I'm dropping my son off. I meant to get up earlier to drop him off because I don't like being late or nothing. I wish I, I shouldn't be late, but I'm just mad. I really don't want to go to her. I'm gonna insert the I'm gonna insert the the message too. Y'all need to see how it was said because I don't need y'all thinking like nah she probably didn't say it with no ass too. I need y'all to see this message because it was very what baby. It was very much full of attitude, and I am big on that, baby. I work hard for my money. I work really really hard for my money. I do not want to give my money to someone who. Who I feel like do not deserve it and if you got an attitude like that why are you doing this what are you so mad about like take it I don't know if you're mad about something else you ain't got on me I don't know what it is but don't do that I didn't do you nothing the hell if anything I'm paying for your services that is that is a hell of a lot right there like that's a reason to be happy with somebody like I would never do that to my customers literally um, to my clients i don't like saying customers but whatever y'all so i was going to vlog me like getting taped down and stuff or like while she was lashing but no because i was gonna ask her could i or whatever but no i'm not doing that I, and i'm not i'm not promoting nobody so i'm about to get my lashes done and i'm going to hush mode sorry y'all i can't bring nobody business because that's how i am like the last time i got my lashes done by her anytime i get serviced by people i like take a little video of it or whatever and i post them on my instagram huh who not this time and i already said to myself i don't care how cute this set come out because my set was cute last time and i'm getting color this time i'm getting pink i don't care how cute my set come out i will not be promoting her i am not bringing somebody business who barely even deserve my business sorry and she can feel how she feel about that anybody else can feel how they feel about that but no no i will not let my home girls come to you the hell no because they love my recommendations my friends love my recommendations and nope will not be so yeah y'all let me get off this camera and let me get where i gotta go I'm going to pop back in after my lash appointment so y'all can see them. Um, hopefully, I... Anyways, never mind. Never mind. I'll pop back in after my lash appointment. Um, I'm Afterwards, I'm going to get an oil change and probably something to eat because I'm hungry. So, yeah. And I got to get my tires checked out because, yeah, I just hydroplated and I don't know why. So, yeah, we need to get these checked out before I get on the road tomorrow. So, yeah, y'all. I'm going to catch y'all later. Hi, can I get a hot and spicy with cheese okay and then a small fry that's all all righty sweetie that's gonna bring your total to uh 389 thank you thank you all right y'all so i got my lashes done and now i'm at firestone my battery's about to die on my camera so i'm probably gonna be on my phone for the rest of this vlog but yeah so they're cute or whatever <laughs> they're cute so yeah, y'all, let me get off here before my camera dies. So I'm about to go to Firestone at the, I'm at McDonald's right now. And I'm going to Firestone. So yeah. All right, y'all. So, uh, no, this is my hair. So it's like 36 inches. I'm going to insert a video of my hair because I forgot to show y'all. But basically, I just made it to my mama's house after I picked up the camera. I think I was at McDonald's. And, um... I got me some McDonald's, then I went to Firestone. They took about 30 minutes to do my car. Girl, they, they tried to get me to do get so much. They said I needed this changed, that changed. 
and that, that crap was coming up to 170 something dollars i was like mm, just do my oil change <laughs> and they put some in my ties too i said just do my oil change all the other stuff go, it's gonna get handled but not right now so i went there then i went to the car wash got my car washed and then i came by my mom and um i waste milk on my passenger side uh floor mat and i have weather mats so all I needed to do was take it out and just wash it. So I had to scrub that milk off of it because it had dried up. I scrubbed that off and I rinsed that off. And now my that's um drying off right now. So my car is done. And yeah, that, that kind of concludes my maintenance vlog. Y'all really like my lashes. Like they're really cute. Mm. Let me find out I didn't fell in love with color. I wish I would have got blue though, but whatever. So yeah, y'all. I'm just chilling right now. It's like 250 something. I'm going to leave out to go to work around 340 because it's like right around the corner or whatever. So, yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm going to end this vlog here, though. Y'all, please like, comment, and subscribe. Dog on pimple on my chin. Y'all didn't see the evolution of that pimple. Look, it's gone now. You literally seen the evolution of it. Because I've been making this freaking video for like the last couple days now. And I'm going to have it uploaded hopefully by tonight because I leave out of town. And I don't want to wait too long to upload this video because it's been a little minute since I uploaded the video. So I got y'all. Anyways, yeah, y'all. So please like, comment, and subscribe. Y'all continue commenting what y'all want to see. I got my finance video coming, y'all. My budget video, how I budget. I got it coming. I got it coming. I just want to make sure I have all my stuff organized and then I have like, like proof of how I'm doing it, you know? I want to make sure of that. So I got y'all. So yeah, y'all. I'm going to see y'all later.